All right, now we can see Unreal Engine landscape. Now let's try to paint this landscape in multiple different ways, especially with some procedural tools. Now you can see a demo that I'm doing things very quickly. And you can see a full tutorial in the description below. First, let's try to uh, paint this landscape using some splat maps. If you're using an external height map generator, this is the most common way you, you can change paint layers. I'm going to drag that text over here, enable this uh, texture map mask and invalidate. Now you can see uh, this splat map over here. I can do some post processing as well, change the brightness and contrast level if you like. All right, now let's uh, move over to some procedural paint layering options. Now I'm trying to paint this landscape. All right, first I'm going to use the normal information, normal data of my landscape. All right, now you can see it will use normal information to like paint this landscape like this. And there are more controls that you can control how this works. So I can change the uh, contrast and brightness and get some very interesting changes, as you can see over here. Then let's uh, hop over to the uh, height mask. So basically I can paint my landscape using height data. So now you can see it will uh, target the this whole area beneath the ground. So it will paint sand over there. So I can show you. See, now you can see it will paint sand on this whole area. And as we can use a location mask, so based on the location data, we can paint over here. In here, we paint some circular shape on the center. You can change the X and Y direction over here if you like. Okay, likewise. Now I can use a edge mask to get some really interesting shapes on these edges. So I can enable edge noise mask. So I can get some very interesting shapes as you can see over here. And then we have an area noise mask. I can put some noise on the area. So get some variations over here. And with noise, we can control how what are the noise seed and get some very interesting shapes like this. Finally, you can mix and match each and individual mask to get some very interesting results. All right, if you want to know more about this, check the description below for the full tutorial.